All right, welcome back to building an Overland Expedition trailer. Uh, it's been a little bit while since we've uh, done anything, having been uh, out of town with it on a uh, test run up to the uh, Muddy Chef Challenge, uh, which, uh, you know, there were a few things that uh, I've got to uh, make some changes on, which uh, is not unexpected when you take it on its first road trip. But I've picked up uh, a couple uh, roof vents. see these uh, these babies are uh, galvanized and uh, pretty rugged and I think they're gonna match so uh, that's what we're gonna do today and uh, see if we can get those in it's always a little bit nerve-wracking when you um, make a hole in the roof um, but we're gonna do that Well, there's a hole. All right, it's a hot one as usual out here on the roof of the uh, Overland Expedition trailer. I am uh, putting in the rooftop vent and uh, I've got the, uh, the holes drilled and uh, I got the thing placed in there. So a um, little extra heavy deuce, uh, dose of uh, silicone never hurt anybody. So that's what we're gonna do now. And then uh, tighten down the uh, screws and uh, Hopefully it's uh, watertight. Okay. So on the uh on the back side here and on the side it goes into the um, aluminum frame of the roof so there I'm going to use uh, self-tapping stainless uh, screws on the other side I'm going to use bolts with uh, lock uh, nuts on the other side So you're going to put this on the bottom of each one of these and just hold it like that. That's it. And I'm going to turn them. Tight. No. Another one. That one? Yep. So I might as well show you as we go up to the uh, roof of the trailer. Note the uh, big scratches on the side of the, uh, the trailer. That was uh, damage, the first battle scars, if you will, uh, at the Muddy Chef 
challenge last weekend uh, from uh, not from off-roading but from the easy up flying through the air all right the final step here it's in is uh, I'm gonna uh, put a little bead of caulk around the outside of this just for uh, great extra measure I don't think we necessarily need it but can't ever hurt and uh, that's it the, uh, I have actually have three of these uh, hatches. I don't know if I'm going to use all three of them or maybe two. I haven't decided yet, so I'm going to test this one out first here and make sure that it, it seals up nice and doesn't leak. Uh, and then I'll get to putting the other ones in. Probably not the uh, not the prettiest caulker, I will tell you. That should do it. So nice about this thing is it opens both directions. So right now it's facing uh, towards the front of the trailer, but uh, if I was down underneath, the lever flips over and it will pop and f uh, face the other way. So if, uh, if it's raining or windy or something and you want to change the direction, that's kind of handy. Thanks for watching this video. If you like what we're doing, be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the truck and tree symbol to your right. Once again, thanks and hope to see you soon.